Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest is to cast 20 white or red spells. Nice and easy. So naturally, we're going to be running our War Leader's Call. I have I have been looking into potentially making a a Boros deck that utilizes some of the newer cards, but uh, I don't know. I like this one. I like the token generation. I like what it can be if you're able to get the right cards. If you're if you're, if you're able to get it to work for you right. So maybe someday I'll look into making a new one, but I like this one as is. Anyway, with that, let's give it a shot. Interesting little bit of lore there, if anybody read that. <laughs> Alright, first match. Not a great start. That's better. Oh, wow. Um, we'll hold on to two of them. But we definitely need another land. Don't do this to me. Seriously, don't don't do this to me. Thank you. Annoying, but I have another one. I didn't actually realize those were blue black. The uh, color of the card itself kind of uh, threw that. Thank you. And goodbye. Oh, control decks. Always so much fun to deal with. Definitely a hard counter to this one since we need creatures on the field. Nice to get lost. Hmm, thanks for the map tokens. Okay. Yeah, I kind of realized I made I made a mistake there, but. Yeah, I should have had Witty, Witty Roastmaster on the field before I did that. That's, that's me being more frustrated than anything, um, with how things are going so far. This just may be more a little bit more frustrated than anything. Definitely my least favorite decks to go up against. I genuinely hate 
like genuinely hate um, control. Should probably just get rid of that. We'll get something out of this. So that's not bad, I guess. Never mind. They're just gonna throw out all their board wipes. Again, not, there's nothing wrong with that playstyle. I just hate it. Like I, I hate that playstyle. Because honestly, from like an from the side of the opponent, it's boring to it's boring to go up against that. Because like their whole thing is obviously using incubation tokens, and once they get Jace on the field, to yeah, their whole thing is, yeah, is to use incubation tokens, and then eventually to. Pretty much send all of my, all the cards on my deck to my grave or exile or whatever whatever he does. That's probably the, the idea that they go with here. Which, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that playstyle if that's what works for you. But but you know if it just from your opponent's side, it's really boring, really boring and time consuming. Because, like, d depending on how things go, I could still win this, maybe. Then again, they keep getting rid of all my stuff, so probably not. Second Yeah, their whole thing is token generation. Which you know, is, again, annoying, but not much I can really do against it. Because, again, this deck is meant to do tick damage, or, um, you know, for things going into the field, and they've gotten rid of three of my four uh, War Leader's Calls, and there probably goes the rest of them, I would assume. So, depending on what we draw here, good game, and concede. There's just nothing, nothing else I can do here. So better to concede now instead of wait another probably five minutes for us to just lose the match. Do I sound frustrated? <laughs> Sorry, that's just not the not the way I would have liked to start things. I hate I hate playing against control. I hate I don't like playing control, not really, and I absolutely hate playing against it because again, it, the mo majority of my decks are all creature focused. So. But that's 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 just that's me, that's me. Like I, said, I don't, I will never hold it against anybody that wants to play that type of deck. I think I say that every time I bring this up, but I just. Yeah. Oh, that's a really cool card art. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and send this in. We'll have another. We'll have another way of generating tokens to use our. Not helpful, but go ahead and deal some damage, I guess. Yes. 
Okay. What do I want to use this on? Let's make it humans. So I can send in. Finally send in you. Yeah, let's go ahead and send in you. I'll send in Mondrak next. Perfect hand, perfect draws, didn't they? Uh, let's see how long, how long we can last. Not very. That's screwed over on the end. Definitely got screwed over on our draw. <laughs> and insult to injury with the virtue of persistence. Yeah, to see, now it doesn't matter. Even if I blocked both of them, their shielded would kill me on my next turn, so. Might as well just end it. Uh, definitely not. Definitely not how I had wanted this to go. And sadly, sometimes that's just how it goes. Sometimes you just don't have any luck. You know, you don't have any luck with your uh, with your opponent matchups. Which I don't know. Sometimes I think it's a good thing. At times, it keeps you humble. Like if you go on an amazing winning streak, um, it can help help keep you grounded. I I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Mono red. Nice quick kill. I can't get stuff out quite fast enough to have it. Hello to you too. Yeah, I probably won't be able to get the stuff out fast enough to really take them out. But we'll see. They plotted something. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this in, I guess. Probably go with Witty Rose Master next. And play your Zero Fast. I would assume Monstrous Rage? Yeah. Nice little combo there. If I can pull another mana, that'd be great, actually. Or another land. I use, I, I've said this before, I use land and mana completely interchangeably. I don't trust that they don't, that they have like a mon another monstrous rage or something. And sadly, they're probably going to beat us anyway. So I hate having that. I hate having that defeatist mindset. But it's just kind of the way it's going. Not what I was hoping for, but we'll do Resolute. Oh, 
I need to be able to block whatever's coming. That only gives you a plus. Yeah, it doesn't give. It doesn't add anything to your toughness, which is good. You probably should have cast that before you did the other one, but okay. All right. To you. To you. Actually, to you. This on you. Tap everything. That one. I know what it does. Isn't it? Okay. That's unfortunate. That's helpful. I guess they won. No? Holy crap. Yeah, good game. Was not expecting that. They got screwed over by... Yeah, they didn't pull anything. Oh. Oh, that makes me feel... Makes me feel better. Makes me feel bad for them, because they had that... By all intents and purposes, they had that win in the bag but then they get and then they fall into the and they unfortunately fall into the trap that is mono red of if you're top decking you are relying on that card and if you're not drawing anything that can help you you're screwed huh <sighs> so i hate i hate kind of i hate winning like that but we will absolutely take that win and that win was enough to level us up giving us a mastery orb as we saw and a pact open so Let's go ahead and take care of the mastery tree before we um, open up our pack. And it looks like we have two. I had one from uh, playing off screen, anyway. So it looks like we'll be getting the card sleeve for green. Yay. Would have really preferred them to have been, to have been avatars, but that's okay. Nice. And now the final one, a card, or the next one, card style for outcast. Outcast Trailblazer. Let's see what that does. Alright. Uh, yeah. When it enters the battlefield, add one mana of any color. Whenever another creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not that's not bad for what it is. Okay. Okay. A bit of a draw engine, and for a green stompy deck... That's not bad. Okay. That is that. Now let's finish things off with the pack opening. Nothing too interesting. What's our rare? Breaches the Blast Maker. Very nice. But with that, we are going. I'm going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all next time.